Thanks for joining us here on this Wednesday afternoon with an update on what's going on across the Atlantic Basin in terms of tropical cyclone activity. We have two systems that we're monitoring, what we call invests here, one near Puerto Rico, the other to the northeast of the Leeward Islands. We'll talk about those a little bit more in just a minute. But first, I want to start with Hurricane Gabrielle here across the North Atlantic, currently about 1,100 miles to the west of the Azores, but moving very quickly toward the east at about 26 miles per hour. The forecast takes the center of Gabrielle near or over the Azores as we go from uh, tomorrow night into Friday morning. There's a hurricane warning in effect for the Azores now, the potential for very strong winds, perhaps wind gusts as high as, port, as, as up to 100 miles per hour across portions of the Azores, even after the center of Gabrielle passes those areas. There's also the potential for a dangerous storm surge accompanied by uh, dangerous wave action as well and up to three to five inches of rain. So interest in the Azores should be paying attention to uh, information from their local meteorological service. As we come back down here into the tropical Atlantic, Nick. Uh, this afternoon. We're watching, as I mentioned, two separate areas that both have a high chance of becoming tropical cyclones over the next seven days. The first system is what we're calling Invest um, AL excuse me, AL-94 here over a, a tropical wave that's centered over Puerto Rico, actually producing a fair amount of shower and thunderstorm activity across Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and adjacent areas this afternoon, with the potential for some heavy rainfall, some, uh, some significant flooding in some areas. Uh, the system's not terribly well organized yet, but as we go through the next several days, uh, we are expecting this system to go on and become a tropical depression uh, in the vicinity of the Bahamas by the weekend. We have an 80% chance of this becoming a tropical cyclone over the next seven days. Uh, it could eventually bring the potential for some impacts uh, to the Bahamas, uh, Turks and Caicos Islands, and uh, potentially the southeast U.S. coast from Florida up through North Carolina as we go from the weekend into next week. So just something we need to monitor at this point in time. The other system, uh, Invest AL-93, is likely to become a tropical depression or tropical storm perhaps as soon as later today. But the, the complexity here is these systems are likely to interact with each other. They're currently about 750 to 800 miles apart for each, from each other, which is not that far away. And as these systems develop, they could certainly interact, which will uh, de determine the eventual track and intensity and any impacts that come from these systems. So the main message for folks along the southeast U.S. coast from Florida up through North Carolina. Just pay attention over the next several days as the situation evolves. We do have the Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunters flying out into uh, this system this afternoon, and we're gonna have the NOAA and Air Force Hurricane Hunters flying missions starting tomorrow to gather as much data as we can across this portions of the Southern Atlantic and the Caribbean to uh, improve the forecast of these systems going forward. So just as a reminder, we're still got a lot of hurricane season left. It's a great reminder to make sure you have your hurricane plan in place if you live in a hurricane prone area. Please come back here to hurricanes.gov for the latest on this evolving situation, and you can get more information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.